Hello everyone, I'm Paul. Welcome to RC Foam Fighters. Um, basically this is going to be part three of the MP UAV project that I'm working on. Um, as you guys have been watching in my last video, the design didn't seem to be working too good. Um, a lot of you guys had some really good suggestions on uh, how to improve the design. So I decided to go back to the drawing board and uh, pretty much modify the plane um, uh, a whole lot actually. So we're going to kind of make it more conventional I think. I'm going to take a lot of the angle out of the wings and uh, probably get rid of this bottom skid at least for now to um, just get the thing in the air and see how it does. Um, but anyway, let's go over the design that I've got and uh, see what you guys think. Alright everyone, here's a quick drawing that I put together of the MP UAV. This is the original design here on the left. And here's my new design on the right. Um, I did make a lot of changes to it. I took a lot of you guys' suggestions in mind and also some of my own ideas and kind of incorporated in this new design. Uh, it's not really going to reflect the uh, Lockheed version of the MP UAV anymore. <laughs> Um, but there's still some slight resemblance to it. Um, anyway, so let's go over um, the changes I made. Uh, basically, it appeared like we had a lot of frontal surface area on the original design that may have been causing some of the um, crazy twists and rolls. So I don't know if you can see these side surfaces right here on the front end. Uh, basically, they're you know real big and hitting a lot of frontal air. So what I did is I opened up the front scoop a little bit. And I don't know if you can see the angles on there. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see I made the um, surfaces basically hitting the frontal air a lot smaller. So hopefully that'll help uh, a little bit there. Um, and as you can see also I increased the wing size quite a bit. The original design I think was only uh, roughly a little over 22 inches wingspan. The new design is actually all the way up to 33 inches. And um, as you can see also I uh, put the motor I put it more embedded into the design so hopefully it'll get the CG with the weight more centralized a little bit and hopefully uh, help the weight be uh, balanced a little bit better. One of the other big uh, differences I made also was the dihedral of the wings. The original design I tried to follow you know Lockheed's concept drawings and it had a really high dihedral and this is uh, actually about 30 degrees elevation of dihedral. So I took it all the way back down to 10 degrees. Hopefully that'll uh, make it a little bit more um, stable and provide more area of the wingspan, you know, horizontally. So hopefully that'll give more lift. Um, as you can also see, I added some vertical stabilizers on the top of the airplane, and I got rid of the bottom stabilizer. Also, um, just the overall whole fuselage size and width is a lot skinnier than the original. So again, hopefully that'll um, lessen the frontal area of the plane and also side area and make it a little more aerodynamic. Um, and also the, uh, the uh, outer wing tips, I got them uh, slanted down quite a bit more. So those will also hopefully act like vertical stabilizers. So basically that's my concept. Um, so now let's get into, um, I actually got a foam board version of the plane pretty much built, so let's take a quick look at it. All right, everyone, here's a quick view of the foam board um, version of the new plane. Here's the frontal view. As you can see, it's uh, quite a bit bigger than the last one. Um, again, with the 33-inch wingspan versus a roughly 22-and-a-half-inch wingspan. And if you look straight on, the frontal surface area is a lot smaller, so hopefully that'll have less effect on the way the plane flies, um, hopefully causing less drag. Um, the frontal opening is going to cause a lot of drag, but hopefully that will be pretty much a straight through shot. Here's a look at the top of the plane. Um, you can see i got a KFM2 airfoil on here. Hopefully that will uh, provide a little extra lift and stability to the plane. Here's kind of a side view of the plane. As you can see, that uh, one of the areas where the plane does kind of retain some of the looks of the original is the uh, lines on the fuselage. I tried to keep those uh, pretty similar to the original. Um, one thing I did though to reduce the surface area is um, these lines were a lot sharper before. This angle right here was, was scooted up and it had a lot um, harder angle facing the front of the plane. So I, what I did is I dragged those back to uh, make it more sleek and hopefully have less uh, resistance on the front of the plane. I added two vertical stabilizers to the top of the airplane and got rid of the one on the bottom. So it'll be a nice uh, smooth landing uh, when you come in. There's a look at the uh, wingtips. As you can see, it's got a nice 
uh, vertical stabilizer pretty much now. It's angled down. Here's a quick view of the back side of the plane. Um, as you can see here, this is where I'm going to be mounting the wooden motor mount for the motor. Uh, the motor is um, now offset into the back of the plane instead of hanging way out at the very back. Hopefully this will bring most of the weight you know, closer to the center of gravity. Um, one other note, um, that's one thing I was thinking about too, is the center of gravity on the airplane. As you can see, in the original plane I had the battery kind of tall ways. And if you think about the um, center of mass of the battery, back to the center of mass of the motor, it looks like, you know, the angle of my center of gravity would, you know, not be in line with the airplane. So what I try to do is I'm going to level out the battery and keep it in line with the center of the motor. Hopefully that will provide a uh, nice straight line of the center of gravity from uh, front to back. Alright everyone, here's just a quick view. I'm going to put on the 360 uh, rotator here. Give you kind of an overall view of the airplane. Um, let me know what you guys think of it, of the design. Hopefully uh, the changes will help it out and make it fly a little bit better. Um, right after this, I'm going to be showing you some of the uh, glide tests that me and Frank did um, right before I shot this video. Um, it looks like the glide test went pretty good. Um, so hopefully once I put the weight on it and uh, take it out for a main flight, it'll fly good. finish up the video for this uh, MPUAV project for now. I'm going to be getting into probably painting it and then putting all the electronics on. Then hopefully we'll get some good weather and I can get out and made and fly it. So thanks again for joining me and I'll see you soon.